Our, our next speaker is uh, talking about something called the uh, world design capital. Anyone heard of that? I didn't see any hands. Okay. Uh, so you're, you're familiar with this, this yellow and this black thing that's been, been happening throughout the year. Uh, how many of you have been to uh, a world design capital event? Okay. Do you realize you're at a world design capital event right now? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, this man is going to talk to us about his experiences at various world design capital events and, and the whole uh, program that took place. And I'm, I'm willing to bet, and I don't know if I'm going to reach into my pocket and pull out money because there probably isn't any, any in there, that he's probably mean to the most world design capital events among any of you in this room. I reckon about 50. Is that, is that right? Give or take. Um, and so he's going to just talk about his his personal experience of this amazing phenomenon that has taken place, this, this honor that our city has had, and um, what that's meant for him and maybe some of the lessons that uh, he wants to convey to us. So, without further ado, Adam Weston, please take the stage. Hello. So, uh, I don't represent WDC or my university in this matter, but uh, yeah, I'm a master's student in design. And I couldn't become a master of the universe like he man, so I decided to do a master's in design, and I thought that was pretty close. Yeah. So, yeah, beyond hipsters and geotags. Okay. So I worked in a coordination office at the university and helped run 18 world design capital projects and work with their communications and all the aspects around them. And... Yeah, I started off building a website and sitting behind a computer and doing stuff. And then I went to over 40 plus events from like 10 minutes here, an hour there, a whole day, like sometimes multiple events in one day. And the reason that all of this came about, yeah, it's uh, pretty tricky, and that's a lot of events, is I broke up with my girlfriend. <laughs> Seriously. Our lives were going in different directions. We broke up. I was alone, isolated at home, and I was like, shucks, I work in this office. I need something to do. Okay, WDC, let's, let's do this. Okay, let's get going. And so what did I do? I met a whole load of interesting people, and I networked, I shared, I ideated, and I facilitated. I used my skill set of the things that I know how to do as a designer and I put them towards working with different projects all around WDC. And the thing about WDC projects is you meet a whole load of different people. You have your consumers who passively consume, they just like go there to be seen, or they're active and they actually take part. The talkers who talk a bunch of shit, or they actually do some stuff. The thinkers who think about the stuff and what matters, and the makers who make a space for stuff to happen. And then there's the doers, the people that get stuff done behind the scene. And these are all the people that are core. Cool. And you see the same people at the same events all the time. Like, I know I saw Richard at probably about 20 of them. And Stephen is probably here. I saw him at quite a few. And these doers, they're the change makers, the behind the scenes people in Cape Town design, in creative design networks and they're the people that do all the stuff behind the scenes to get all this amazing stuff done drawing world design capital and you don't really hear about them but they're there and you see them over and over again and they're not your Cape Town creative hipsters with handlebar moustaches to match their handlebar moustache on their bike or in their vintage dress that's not creative Cape Town okay <laughs> creative Cape Town is amazing people. So all of these people, this is probably about half the people I met at different events, and that's just like 40 of them, and these are like half the organizations that I worked with or did something with, and there's so many more, and this doesn't even include like the 50 plus projects that I had some tiny little part in. But how does this impact? So two conversations funded 10,000 Rand in 30 minutes just from my attitude and just from being at these things. 
So at the Creative Cape Town app launch, I bumped into Shani from the Thousand Drawings Project. Any of you guys go? And then I talked to Patrick Schofield from Thunder Fund. And from the conversation, Shani had a problem with her payment gateways of a Thunder Fund campaign. I talked to Patrick over a cup of coffee. We ideated around payment gateways. And then they had SnapScan for Thunder Fund at the Labia Digital Gold, which in half an hour, they raised 10,000 Rand. And that's just from having two conversations. But what is it to do this? It's your consciousness around what you do and what you want to achieve. And like, what, what do you want to get out of design or your creativity or anything or your social exchanges? Like, what do you want to do with it? Like, what is your mindset around it? And then secondly is, how do you promote what you do as a person? What strengths do you have as a designer, a businessman, an artist? Like, what is your skill set? Like, what value can you add? Like, I create stuff. I paint on skulls. That's what I do. And, like, how do you get involved? How do you participate? And how do you get other people to participate in what you're doing? Do you have a significant enough conversation with a person that they'll want to get involved in what you do? And what I did is I had conversations this entire year with random people. Just went and serendipitously sat in a coffee shop and had a conversation. And that created impact. Social impact, economic impact, cultural impact. You don't exactly know what impact you're going to make, but you do make something, whether it's through inference or directly. So if we take the world design capital, so the world is like this thing in the globe. But what about your world and the world you can change? Isn't that the world for you, the world from your perspective? Like, how do you approach the world? What can you add value? And the design. Is design just the artifacts that we make? Is it just the like posters, the logos, the packaging? Or is design a process? A plan with an ultimate purpose. Like, what do you want to achieve? How do you get to what you want to achieve? How do you solve your problems? And then capital. Is capital a city, a town, a designation, a brand? No. It's your resources, your wealth, your wealth of knowledge, what you have. So what is the world design capital? It is you as a person who can make a plan to create solutions and Use your knowledge to impact people. So what are you going to do at your next event? Who are you going to talk to?